giving this one shot, one shot only. I'm tired, and I don't want to do this. But also, I don't want to give in to myself all the time when I don't want to do stuff. That's that's terrible. So. But some things only get one shot, one extra shot. And if they don't happen then, psh, I pull a plug, no problem. Decision as easy as made as turning a light switch on and off. So here I am at, uh, what time is it? Uh, 22, 25 hours, Thursday night, April 18th. And 2024, and the weather is like winter out now. I just walked to the store before. I had two pullovers on and I was freezing. And the wind was going as usual. I saw people in winter coats. Unbelievable, man. I try not to dwell on the, the weather, the, the bad weather, but sometimes it's just, it really gets to me. Especially this time of the year, so it's right when the weather is breaking. So, you know, you, you get a little happy sometimes, get some, some nice weather. Oh, it's here, it's here, then psh, nothing. Forget it. Freezing cold for uh, another more couple of weeks. I just read a couple of shorts. I was there and said, all right, that's it. I'm going to do the shorts, and that's it. No, nothing else recording. I'm going upstairs, relaxing, get this fucking day and night over, and get into tomorrow, Friday. But... You know, that little voice inside me, it doesn't let me get away with anything. But give it a shot. Don't be lazy. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you're not being lazy. You know. A long day, long day uh, by myself. Other than that, you know, it was a, it was a fairly good day. I got a lot of things done. And I also did not lose my temper on anyone or anything all day. You know, I did not get put in a bad mood or in a depressed mood or anything like that. I did a really good job, I guess, uh, of staying uh, neutral to positive neutral so pretty much the whole day. And um, that is... It's a little victory for me, you know, and I got to recognize that to myself, and I have to, um, I don't know, not not like uh, celebrate it or anything, but but more like just yeah, good acknowledgement because you know you acknowledge the bad in your life. Well, I know I do, or I used to a lot. You know, and you know you're like a pro at acknowledging, acknowledging uh, all kinds of future despair and past despair, regret, and all kinds of bullshit. A waste of it. But, you know, it just, I, it dawned on me not too long ago, probably a couple years ago maybe, that like, wow, fuck. I give myself a fucking bashing for every mistake and uh, wrong thing and stuff that I say or do. But every time I do something good or achieve something good, I, I don't seem to like recognize it really much on my own. You know, and I thought one time, like, oh, I had a moment, oh, that's, that's fucked up, that's stupid. You know? But, I don't know. You know, you, you get through the days as best you can, you should, trying not to lean on anyone else. Try not to bleed on anyone else. Uh, try not to uh, slow yourself down with arrogant, narcissistic, greedy type of uh, thoughts. And things can be manageable. I don't know, I'm, just, I'm a very different person when I'm by myself. Like, I'm not with my, my girlfriend, my uh, 
fiance. I just hate saying that word. It sounds so ugh, weird, you know. Um, but no, no, you know. So, so it's like I'm when I'm with her around her, you know, I'm one way. Or like when I'm with my kids or something, I'm, I'm one way. But when I'm by myself, I'm really. Uh, I feel like a very you know different, much. My whole outlook and everything is just different, you know. Um, doesn't matter. You know? it's, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's all, uh, it's all dissecting, you know. I dissect myself. I dissect myself every day, every night. Whenever I do something or whatever, I'm analyzing and, and you know, and it's, uh, it's good, you know. It's helpful. It was tiring, tiring. Uh, I listened to some of these reject comments some people make. Uh, the, God, they're so stupid. <laughs> you know, so stupid. Uh, no, it just, it's, it just blows me away. You know, how, how, how dumb people are and how much they let it show by what they say or do. But you gotta take it with a grain of salt because you got enough of the million chicken shit cowards who sit in their house in their laptop or in their phone, the guys, and they, they as soon as they close the door, they put on their, you know, their uh, garter belts and makeup and lipstick and shit, and they go on the fucking computer and they go to troll people and say annoying things and be a pain in the ass and and you know just try and you know make things worse. Because I guess, I don't know, their lives must be so fucking bad. <laughs> you know, so disgustingly bad that they have time to sit there on the sideline and judge or criticize someone doing something. Sideline people don't matter. They don't exist. They're oxygen thieves. They do nothing but exist. They stand their whole life. That's what, what you do in your life? Well, I, I stood. I watched people do stuff and... I pointed it out and told them how they're doing it wrong, how I do it right, and I do it. Uh, uh. But, well, well, who are you? Who the fuck knows that you're just a circle with a letter J T in there or something? And you're given a, you're you're you, you have the balls to fucking cor try and correct someone on something that they actually get up and they're doing. No, no. Before the internet, these people were here. They're all be here the little uh, like gnats you know they're like those little fish that go behind the shark fly behind the sh swim behind the shark you know for stuff and um, hey depends on the mood I'm in I could see it I could laugh and laugh it off I could be in another mood I see it I can get mad if I saw them fucking people in front of me they would be picking up their teeth off the floor so fast I was thinking, you know what, I should, I should take out and do a video and say, okay, tough guys, okay, tough guys, all the tough guys who are going to tell me how to do knife fighting, all the tough guys who are going to tell me this or that, okay, tough guys, I'm going to be X place at X date waiting for you, motherfucker, with sparring shit and stuff, and we'll go right there on the grass with nobody. All these line up, come on, fucking destroy us, but... I can't do that. I can't. It's just a little fantasy I have in my head. You know. People can be so tough on the keyboard, so tough on the phone, obviously. But you get them right here. Totally different story. The piss coming down their leg. Oh, shaking the green with everything you say. Oh, this and that, you know. Believe me, I had experience with the real, not computer experience. When I had uh, a few of my karate, uh, my karate martial arts schools in the past, yeah, I'd have to deal with the fucking idiot people who walk up and you know stick their head in and go, Hoo! you know, or stupid things like that. Um, I'm not the person to do that to. You know? <laughs> 
I am not the person. I went out at the school after someone once in the car. They had got, you know, the light turned red and they got away. And I was teaching the class and everything. I fucking, I was bad mood. I was going to pull him out by his fucking hair. I didn't care in front of who, in front of the my school, the students, uh, anyone. I didn't care about getting in trouble. Uh, I was in uh, really bad mood. Uh, and I got, if for a while, people were like harassing the school here and there, and I couldn't ever get my hands on any one of them. And this one time, they came up. It was a red light. It was on the main Ave. They said some shit. They were in like a convertible type thing, and I just, and I, I was teaching the class. I walked, walked right through the doors open. I walked out and started walking towards them, and then the lights were green, and they, they left. Like I said, I'm, I guess I'm glad they did that. They did the. But, you know, I had another, another time I had I had, had to I'd get physical with someone, and I had to, I kicked him in the head, knocked him out, gave him a concussion in school. He was a problem. You know, a drunk guy came in once, talking shit, whatever. I kicked, knocked the wind out of him with a nice sidekick. Boom! And it felt good. You know, it felt like kicking a melon or something. You know, just nailed the shit out of him. So pissed off. So disrespectful. But, but, you know, what are you going to do, huh? You're going to let people walk all over you? You're going to let people disrespect you to your face? You're going to let people uh, fuck around with your shit? Why? You know, to be nice, to be passive? to not cause trouble. No, I, I reckon if you don't do nothing, it's gonna come back again. They're gonna do it again and again and again. That's the nature of fucking people, especially scumbags. They have to learn a lesson. They, you have to knock their teeth through their bottom lip in order for them to understand, don't come here. <laughs> I'm not a mean or a violent person, really. But I will say this until I see something that changes my mind. Violence is not the, I used to say the, it is one of, it is a universal language. Meaning you don't have to, you can't speak, you know, bug, you know, or something. When you see bugs, you can't say go leave and go or go come here. No. But you go, get, you go to fucking squash them, they run, or something more intelligent, you know, uh, an animal knows you're coming, they'll go. So, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, you had, say, ETs come down here, aliens come down here, land, and if they're peaceful, no violence, they're peaceful. You don't know though. But they come down and they're violent, you know what language they're speaking. They want to kill you. Ah, okay. Now you can proceed as you should against that. But you know what I'm saying? You know, so, and with the modern human scumbag, piece of shit, no life, uh, coward, shit for brains, good for nothing person, you know, if they're harassing someone or you, well, my advice is, Give them a little pain, you know. Come in and hit them. <laughs> hit them, you know. Now, you can't walk up and just hit them for no reason, even though you want to. But, like, if they start shit, don't take it. Give it back. Fuck you. I don't care where we are at the job or this or that or whatever. It's fucking going down now here, not hiding, running around, nothing like that. Deal with the consequences. Don't fuck with me. You know, so when you project that violence, you're willing to commit violence, uh, it reads, and things understand that without having to speak, thus they're the universal language of my little theory there. So there you go. And that's that. Um... A lot of work on the book stuff. I really want to get a bunch of them done soon. I can't wait. I'm going to keep working at it. 
but I also have to keep uh, managing my time good and better as I can. And uh, this going to bed early thing is just fucking hard for me, even when I'm tired. I'm sitting there falling asleep on the chair. <laughs> but I have to, you know, so you, know, you gotta do things you don't want to do, and that's that. Well, that's it. I'm uh, around 15 minutes. That's not bad. Maybe I'll, I'll put this up, perhaps. Perhaps not. I don't know. We'll see. Most likely. All right, my friends, I thank everyone who has been watching. The views have went up all across the channel, all three channels, and uh, I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, and the subscribers again on all three. But I'm going to start mentioning it now, I haven't, but I have two other YouTube channels. I have this one, and then my other main one is. Uh, my martial art channel, which is called Rogue Combatives, R-O-G-U-E, Combatives. All right, that's my other main channel. There's a bunch of videos up there. And then I have a third one. I started uh, a year or so ago, American Bowie Knife Fighting. And that's all about Bowies and American Bowie Knife Fighting um, news and things like that. And there's not that many cha uh, videos up there, but... The, I will be getting to them as soon as the season starts. So if you're interested in any of that, if you're interested in seeing what I'm talking about with, with martial arts and things I do, go check out the Rogue Combatives uh, channel. And uh, I have everything, a lot of stuff in there. One of my favorite ones that people, uh, I'm going to do it again. It's a great one. We're taking it. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to wait until I do it. So that's it. Good night. Goodbye. Be good.